me on a 100-year vision of where the Gold Coast was, where it is, where it can be by the middle of the 21st century. I want to go to beyond the horizon. It's time for the Gold Coast to go beyond the 2030s and look at where this place can be, should be, might be by 2050. We are going to double the population of the Gold Coast. Why is this not an opportunity for building, construction, finance, housing, retail, next generation business opportunities? Why would you not choose the Gold Coast? This is a city that has been willed into existence and willed into existence because of the fundamental demand for lifestyle, for leisure, for retirement, for everything that the Gold Coast is famous for. The Gold Coast will remain 70 kilometres from the north to the south. What does it mean if you double the density of the number of people in a 70 kilometre strip? I think that that means that you must focus on transportation. The light rail must extend through to Coolangatta. There would be greater pressure on the north-south traffic flows. Education must be part of the future story of the Gold Coast. There are infrastructure implications plus cultural implications, but that's not the main game. One worker in five works for themselves. If ever there was a city that can claim to be entrepreneurial, it is the Gold Coast, it sets itself apart. Fluidity, mobility, lifestyle, there are opportunities in the future. If you build and project your brand to these opportunities, it's not easy, it is going to be hard, there will be competition for everything that we are trying to get for the Gold Coast, but what's the point of a vision unless it's ambitious?